Aquarius. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for January the 17th through January the 18th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer coming into you. I'm sorry, there is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Aquarius, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aquarius. The Four of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now Aquarius, I know you're not turning down any money, honey. No, you're not doing that. Aquarius, someone may want to go in commitment and you may feel like you want to miss this offer. Or it's you wanting to come in with this offer for a commitment. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Aquarius, you have the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So Aquarius, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Clarify the Three of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the three of cups. For Aquarius, clarify the three of cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil. 
for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aquarius, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Aquarius, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Aquarius, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Hmm. Now, Aquarius, you can tell me that this catches you completely off guard, okay? You know, something that was slow going here. You could be shocked that they're coming in with wanting just cause to celebrate here, to go into a legal binding contract commitment here. And this may be the, what you need to decide on here. Aquarius, you could also tell me that, you know, is you wanting to go into this legal binding contract, maybe just wanting to take it slow, and you're just maybe having this fear they won't accept it because maybe you're, you're moving too fast, so it's a, a need to take it slow. Aquarius, you could also tell me that there's been some type of shocking shakeup and you guys' has already established commitment. You're discovering that it's toxic, that they had a third party, and you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Aquarius, you have the Knight of Pentacles again. So like I said, you're telling me that something is coming to a screeching halt here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else was giving to two. Aquarius, you better tell me that you don't want this money. Like somebody could be giving you money. I'm like, I don't want it. However, Aquarius, you could tell me that you, you guys are going stagnant because someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. However, Aquarius, you can tell me this was a long time coming. Someone may be giving the other something, bling, bling, shiny thing here. Aquarius, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Aquarius, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date. 
or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aquarius, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Aquarius, very well could be this offer of practicality, money coming into you, and I don't know why you're bothered by it. You're stressing over it. Aquarius, there could be an opportunity for a commitment coming into you here, okay? And again, you're stressing over it. However, you could be stressing or maybe a little anxious or worried about offering this offer of commitment. Aquarius, you have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is a fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Aquarius, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. I hear wedding bells. So, Aquarius, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. You know, Aquarius, you guys could be having this conversation about commitment and leveling up with one another. Or you're telling me that it's happening really quickly here. And you want to slow things down a little, think about it a little, mull over it a little. Or vice versa, maybe you don't. I don't know. But it's about commitment. It has you in your head, Aquarius. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aquarius. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page, Aquarius. What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? And it says, love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low, Aquarius. Take your time, do it right, you can do it, baby, do it tonight, baby, we can do it, take your time, do it right, we can do it, baby, do it tonight, take your time. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 17th through January the 18th. 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.